Hello, and welcome to Mech Warrior Online. Today, I'm doing a review of what I call the Great Equalizer. And there's so many different ways to run this mech, and I'll show you how I'm running it right now, but I can show you some other builds that are also very interesting as well. But this is an all-energy build platform. So there are so many different little things you can do with this thing. I've tried running, running this with beams, large pulse lasers, medium pulse lasers, uh, all heavy, large lasers. I've had a lot of fun doing a lot of different things on this build. And it is just tanky as hell. And because it's a clan mech, if you lose a torso, it is not the end of the world. Let me show you this thing the way I've got it set up. So I'm rocking three ER large lasers for ranged weapons. I've got an advanced sensor package on here. Six medium pulse lasers. And you see this triangle up here? This is just about the large lasers. This has nothing to do with these ER large lasers. See, when I take that away, there's no triangle. It's only about the large laser. So I've got the three here. Now, to avoid ghost heat, I cycle these weapons. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But this way, it's almost like having a beam weapon on there, except it's got really good range, which beam weapons do not. But the medium pulse lasers, I fire these left and right. I've got an advanced sensor package on here, so it gives me really good zoom. And let's count it out. So we got 3, 5, 9, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 double heat sinks. And this gives me a heat management of 1.36 firepower of 75 and a speed of 61.9 so we'll just call it 62 so the the uh, armor men I've got set up on this allows this thing to do a lot of different things one of the things is with the speed you can also it has some good uh, armor about it this is only an 85 ton mech so you got to take that into consideration <clears throat> so what do we got going on here so we got a chassis C build bonus plus 30 now, as far as quirks go, <clears throat> we're not getting a lot out of this, but it is what it is. And what I mean by that is, let's take a look at it in the skill tree. So, I go to the skill tree, and we're just going to respect this tree to zero. Go back in here. Not getting a lot, are we? Nothing. But you're, you are getting a chassis C-bill bonus. So that's why you do need to skill this guy up. So let's revert to the changes. So I went with maximum range. Even though the ER large lasers have really good range, I wanted um, great range on the medium pulse lasers because those are the primary weapons. They're going to be the ones you're going to be taking around corners left and right. And then I also went with uh, heat con uh, generation, laser duration, because you got to shorten those ER large lasers time. Maxed out on armor hardenings, uh, skeletal density, it reinforced casing, and three points into the overheat damage. The reason for that is because if you're firing your AMS and you also are in a situation where you're getting hot, it's good to have extra... Um, let's call it internal armor protection kind of like a sponge that's the way I look at overheat damage so we also have cool run heat containment I didn't go any 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 place into seismic sensor because with a, an assault mech like this you're going to want to be on the move and because I have the advanced uh, package on board I don't need an advanced zoom but I did go with max out radar deprivation and of course my two cool shots and a UAV with this platform, you basically need to keep moving. You don't want to get uh, too stagnant and too stationary because this thing's got a big ass. So you don't want to get shot in the butt a lot. But because it's got a very narrow profile from the front, it's not that terrible. What you do have to watch out for is the sides. This thing, once again, it has a really big butt and it has a really big side profile. And you got to be careful with that. Now, just because it's an XL engine, 
uh, doesn't mean you're going to really suffer really badly. <clears throat> but what you do have to be careful about is that side shot because this thing does, you have to remember this is considered the side torso. Even though the arm is over here, this is considered the side torso. So you need to be careful about that. You're going to get hit a lot from the sides. And so you need to do a, a lot of uh, twist and uh, movement. So we just make sure this is saved. I don't know why it wasn't. That's why I went with this camo pattern, so it helps me blend in a little bit. Obviously, it doesn't work as well on white maps, but on everything else, it does pretty well. Why am I getting this notification? Huh, weird. <clears throat> so anyway, so this is this build, and I've had this mech for a long time, and I've had some pretty good successful matches in it. You do just, once again, you need to keep on the move. Make sure you're staying with a group. Um, it's not going to be as, as uh, damaging to your psychology as a, driving a Zeus is, but you do got to be careful. It is definitely a mech that's more for skilled pilots. At any rate, I hope you like this, and uh, there's some really co cool paint schemes. Oh, I forgot to mention that there is something you can do that is a lot of fun on this build. And if you don't mind uh, losing some features here, this is one thing that I have done with very good success is strip these guys off and you go with four large pulse lasers. Now you can still put on some small lasers to go with it, but I've run this build like this and I've done 600 damage many times and I suck at driving energy builds so that tells you a lot right there if you don't mind sacrificing this you still have plenty of room on here to do uh, two ER large lasers as well but what I came across is they were just less useful than having the the uh, the four large pulse lasers and that's why I went that direction Anyway, this is a fun build, and it's a really a lot of fun to get skilled out and get, it, uh, get the niche figured out. You can have some really good matches in this guy.